You went to art school? Practice more. Try a different style. Like, I used to paint... I used to try... I used to do photorealism. I suck at it. I can do it, but I suck. I tried... Doing... Like... Um... What's his name? The guy who does the spots. What's his name? I can't remember. The guy who does the spots. The... The... the Midsum Midsummer Night or whatever it is. I can't remember what it's called. You you know the guy who did the fucking sunflowers. Picasso was that like old Picasso before he like cut his ear off and went abstract. I didn't win a Warhammer. I did lots of queuing. Van Gogh, yeah, Van Gogh. There you go with the Dutch pronunciation. Um. Like, I tried that style. I was shit at it, right? I tried Monet. I was shit at it. I tried Turner. I was shit at it. Now what do I do? I do a mixture of abstract photorealism, right? Everything's multicolored. Some things are photorealistic sometimes. Like the flowers that I do, I do them photorealistic. Everything else is very much like a style I have found through trial and error. With my minis, the way I paint, the style I paint, is very much trial and error through that and carried on in the small thing, right? Van Gogh with Picasso, I'm mad. Now, I don't remember the names of artists. I'm sorry. I don't remember things. All great photo hyperrealists paint mural side canvases. They do. You're right. Riot? No. 35 in two months. Started painting drawing 30 years ago. I mean, you, you might just not have found the thing. It's like, just keep going. I promise. Like, you don't have to aim for a Slayer Sword. Like, it might just happen one day, like, with a mini that you don't really care about. Like, take Crispy, right? I don't know if you know who Crispy is. Crispy Miniatures used to stream painting, right? He has stopped painting, and he probably won't stream again. He might, but not very often. I'm not sure. We did talk about it, but I don't want to, like, say too much. Um, he entered some minis that he finished before he stopped painting and that he hadn't submitted to Last Golden Demon. He submitted some singles, I think two singles and a squad, which was his Norse squad. He was happy with his single minis, he thought if anything was going to get a pin or a commendation, it was going to be one of the singles. He didn't really care about the squad. What got a pin? The squad. I think it even got commendated. I can't remember. Right? The, th like, the things, like... <sighs> if you think something is gonna go well, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Just do it again. If you think something is gonna go badly, and it goes well, it's great. You feel great. If you have two minis, you think one of them's going to do well, one of them's going to do badly, and the opposite happens. It's not your fault you that you didn't think the one that won something was better than the other one. It's pure subjectiveness. Right?
If a 14 year old paints like that with how I've been progressing, I'll be as good as those 14 year olds when I'm around 60. Fuck that, spend 25 years of doing something else and being shit at painting. <laughs> That's like your argument. Your like n I'm I'm not don't be defensive or whatever. Okay, I'm just saying your argument is dumb because purely because right. I'm twenty six, right? Leonardo da Vinci was like fucking 19 when he was doing like the the big thing in the roof of that cathedral right he has accomplished most of his masterpieces and things he is known for before he is he was as old as I am now does that mean I shouldn't paint Yeah, Michelangelo, that's the one. See, I don't remember people's names, I just guess. Sorry. Right? Does that mean I shouldn't paint? Because someone else... Wow, thank you so much. Because someone else... has... done better than me... at a younger age than me. Michelangelo painted pizza, you plebeian. Michelangelo was a turtle. Mean age tootin needle teetles. Go go Power Rangers. Um But do you know what I mean? Like just because there are children like 12 year olds that are better at coding than 30 year olds doesn't mean the 30 year olds should just stop coding you know there's always like quoting star wars there's always a bigger fish right whoever wins the slayer sword right? Might not be the best painter in the world. There is a bigger fish, right? There's always going to be some 12 year old better than you at everything, that's why we bully them. Exactly. Star Wars quotes, amazing, you're welcome. Enjoying the process, yeah. If it's to be the best in the world, give up. If it's to be enjoying yourself, keep going. Yeah. Big fish, Vinci V. Van Gogh. Yeah. Gogh. I can't pronounce the first G. I used to be really good at it because I knew someone. Nothing should have the power to keep you from doing what you want to be doing as an artist. Yeah. Like... If we only did things we're best at, I'd never do anything so I'm bad at everything. <laughs> like catatonic. Same. <laughs> Literally same. Um <laughs> Vincey V. Um Yeah. But do you know what I mean? Do you agree with me, Benji? Oh my god, Gonazel. Oh my god. Like, okay. Right? I'm gonna shit on myself for a second. Right? Which I did last week. Um, while I was at Golden Demon, I almost shat myself. It was great. It was a great time. Um, I am not the best painter. Right? I'm not the best drawer, right? 
as much as I love my VTuber model, right? There are other people who are always going to be better at drawing these sa same exact things than me, right? I accept that. I don't mind. Like, I've, like, it's fine, right? Literally the best TD, 2D VTuber model on the planet. You know, I fixed the tears. So they're not in the wrong place now. <laughs> I didn't make the eyes move yet, though. So it's... Um... Yeah, like, you like it. That's enough for me, right? As long as one person... likes my art, I'm happy. I don't have to win awards for it. I don't have to, like... Like, I don't have to do anything else, right? I'm doing my best. I know that I'm doing my best. That's, like, I understand. I understand that you don't get medals for participation or effort or anything like that, right? I have never won anything in an art comp competition, right? I have been entering painting competitions for canvases, for watercolour, for acrylic, for minis now, for postcards, for stamps, for literally anything that I took an interest in and thought it would be fun to do. Have I won anything? No. Have I come second in anything? No. Have I come third? Yes, because I'm the best. Um, but like, does it matter that 90% of those things I got nothing? Like, there's no record of me, like, if you- for a lot of these competitions, right? Like, even for Golden Demon, right? You never hear about the commendated, you never hear about the pinned, you never hear about who else entered, right? A lot of these competitions that I have joined previously... Like, I got nothing. I didn't get my name put out anywhere. Like, I didn't get any, like, advertising of commissions and gaining commissions from doing those. Like, I gained nothing from those competitions. Did I stop doing them because I got nothing from them? No. I got second in an art competition by plagiarism as a ten-year-old. Okay, when I was in year three, um, there was a painting competition for a landscape at my school. Um, my mum painted it, and um, we did we we did get silver for that. Um, I didn't paint it. I did not paint any of that painting. I do not count that as one of my things. Right, my mum is a good artist. She's not as good as me. But she is an artist, right? She can draw really nicely. She can draw better than me. It's like sketches and shit. My sketches are shit, right? I've won painting comps. My painting's pretty bad. Just need to be less bad than the other people there. Yeah. My brain works this way, that's why I stopped drawing, stopped making comments, because even if people like my stuff, if I don't like it, it'll go in the trash or the closet. Yeah. Like, I was the same. Like, I, like... I know this is very much like, thanks, I'm cured. But, there was a point when I was at university and, like, it doesn't matter what age this, like, comes to you or whatever. There was a point when I was at university where I was like, fuck this, I'm gonna dress as an anime main character in bright-coloured, garish clothes, and I'm gonna do whatever I want, and I do not care what people think anymore, right? 
since then, I give myself pep talks. Like, it sounds really sad saying it out loud, but like, <laughs> I legitimately, before I have a shower, like, you get undressed, you stand in front of the mirror, and I look at myself and I'm like, God, I look good. And I give myself my motivation. Because no one else is going to, like, now I have you all lovely chat. You give me motivation to carry on, right? It's great. I love it. I don't have to, like, motivate myself as much as I have had to since I went to uni. Like, I was depressed as fuck, right? And I know that this is very much thanks I'm cured. It's like... And like, I've been through things, right? I've told you many times, like, I've been through shit. This is the sexy bean redeem. I am a sexy bean lady and you can't stop me. I have been through a lot of shit, right? I have... what people would call trauma from things that I have buried deep down and I'm not gonna talk about them because then I get upset, right? That's the point of burying things. I know it's not the healthy thing. They're bean coloured, they have bean juice in them. Um, right? I've been through shit. I am not someone who has had nothing thrown at them and has just floated through everything, right? So when that happened, when I had to work through that and get myself through it, and get myself through my degree, and after my degree. Beans. Yes. Like, I had to do that myself, right? I have one friend. I have Rachel, right? I don't tell her everything, okay? She, know she doesn't know a lot of things. It's beans, not piss. Yeah. I will not be making a piss redeem. Soz. Why did he get summoned? Oh my god. Right? And a lot of things that I do... When Grot redeem? Oh my god. <laughs> um... Like, my finger guns at myself, and all of those things are all, like, coping mechanisms that have, like, gone above and beyond what they needed to do, and have helped me push myself in the right way. Oh, Benji. See if you can get a therapist, buddy. It's okay. Like, when the stuff happened with my parents, like, a couple months ago now, I had to get a therapist. I had a therapist for a month. And I talked to him every week. Once a week, he gave me some, like, coping mechanisms. We talked through what was going on. He was like, it's okay. It's fine. You know? It helps. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. Going over my head too much? Okay. Damn, I look like shit. <laughs> like... Okay, lots of the, like, selfies that I send to Toby, right? Are me making dumb faces. Because I can't take a good picture of myself. I look bad in pictures, right? So I just hate, take dumb pictures and make fun of myself. It's not healthy, but I, it's, it's 
the only way I can take a picture of myself, right? Brooke has a nice smile. Thank you, Hungry. You've been going to therapist 15 years. Well... Get a, get a new one. I feel like if you need to see one for that long, you should get a different one that actually helps. But like, I don't know. I'm I'm not a professional in any means. It's like I feel like with therapists, it's very much like like I understand there's long-term need for some people to have like therapy and whatever for a long time. I understand that. But I also I'm like obviously my shit that lasted a month wasn't that big of a deal in comparison to what other people go through, right? We didn't cover, like, when I talked to the therapist, right? Like, we only went through, like, mourning process and, like, stuff that happened to my parents, right? Like, they're, st they're both alive, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We didn't go through any of the other stuff. But we, like, we solved the one problem. There are many other problems. We didn't go through them. And it's fine. I didn't feel the need to go through them. I don't feel like I need to go through them. They, like... That kind of stuff only affects me when certain things happen. But those certain things don't happen, like, every day. They happen, like once every six months or something, right? It's not a thing. Well, it is a thing, but it's like a small thing. If normal therapy will not help, the psych ward saved my life. Delicious lithium salt twice a day. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um... But yeah, you don't have to be the best at everything, right? I wasn't good at uni. I'm terrible at studying, right? I am stupid. I am not a smart being, okay? The other day, yesterday, me and Toby... Toby was sitting on my desk chair. I was standing, like, in front of him, right? He was, like, patting my belly. We were talking about what we were going to have for dinner. Okay? I suggested Chinese. And that we could walk to the Chinese. And walk home again. To get a little bit of exercise to equal out the Chinese we were about to eat. Okay? And Toby, he was patting my belly, okay? He was patting my belly and, like, squishing it and, like, patting it, right? And he said... He said, how are we going to get it home? No, he said, how are we going to get this home? Okay. And I said, it's attached to me. Because I thought he was talking about my belly that he was squishing and patting. He meant the Chinese. He then just sighed and gave me a hug. And I didn't understand until he said, I meant the Chinese. Cute outfit, thank you. Big brain bean, the smartest. Yeah, it's a big help. That's good. You walk with it. Put the Chinese in belly, walk home with belly. <laughs> you wanna kidnap a Chinese? <laughs> no! Cause like, when we went to the shop earlier, 
I was like... Like, we didn't need to get a basket, we had a plastic bag, and I scan stuff as I go with my phone. And... We got stuff that didn't fit in the bag, so he had to carry it, and he was complaining that he had to carry it. So then, when we got the Chinese, he was like, how are we gonna get it home? In that, are we going to buy too much that we can't carry it all home? We didn't. We got enough, it was just one bag, and we just walked home with it. It was fine. That's what he meant by how are we gonna get it home. Like, do we need the car, you know? We did have ribs, yes. I don't think they were human. Froggy and Toby abducted a Chinese person? No. <laughs> oh my god. But like, yeah. And like, before we went to the Chinese, we were making a list of what we were gonna get and adding up all the prices, right? So he was reading out the prices to me. Oh, it wasn't even this. It was this. But before we did this, we, so when we went to Warhammer Fest, we bought a bunch of things that um were for people. Like I got Lambda, a commissar. I got Corpse, a commissar. Um, one of Toby's friends got some key rings and a commissar, and his other friend got a coin and some key rings. And we were adding up, like, the prices of everything to, like, send to these people so they could pay us. And, um... I was in charge of writing down the prices of everything and, um... Adding it up. I had to use my hands to add things, right? I had to use my hands to add one penny to something. Right? I had to count it using my thumb. And he just did it all in his head. Really fast. And I was like, what the fuck? How did you do that? And he was like, well, it's just... It's just 8 plus 8 plus, like... Um, like... It, it was 8 plus 8 plus 10 pounds 20. I, like, I went down the zero column, and I added all the zeros up and got a zero. I went down the next com column, zero, zero, two, got a two down at the bottom, great. I went down the eights, 16, nice, there's a 16, and then there's a one. You add that, 26. Easy. He did it in like a second. I had to write it down and do, like, the whole column thing. Ridiculous. I just, I, like, it's, like, and I, and I wrote some of the numbers backwards. Um, Soz, I, yeah. Numbers are hard. I love maths, but it's hard. I love maths. I used to be really good at maths. I love algebra with the letters. I love that. I'm good at maths when I write everything down. Like, you know those people in like exams and shit and they only write the answer and they don't write any of the workings, right? I could never. If I don't write things down, it doesn't exist, you know? Terrible. Absolutely awful. Adds a visual cue, yeah. Cue you, a you, a you. Adding times, why you base time on 12, not 10? I'm- I'm okay with time, kind of. Because I use the 24 hour clock, but I always get confused because of numbers at things. So like, there are 60 seconds in a minute, right? Are there 60 milliseconds in a second? Or a hundred? Is it? I think it's 60. But then because those are all sixes, I then get confused that a centimetre 
There's like 60 centimeters in a meter, and like 60 millimeters in a centimeter, and it just gets worse. Or, I do the opposite, where it's like, well, there's a hundred centimeters in a meter, which means there must be a hundred seconds in a minute. Millie is a thousand. I understand this. I understand that kilo is a thousand. Is Millie a thousand too? A thousand milliseconds in a second? That's a lot. Yeah, it does. One thousandth. Oh, okay. They don't. You're right. Millipedes have like six, eight legs, maybe ten sometimes. They don't have a lot of legs. Have you seen those huge ones? Fucking huge, man. Why would anyone measure temperature in a non-linear non scale? So, temperatures, I, like, a lot of things I just ignore. Like, a lot of things don't mean things to me. And, like, I understand it's silly. And I should just learn the things, and my life will be easier. I understand this. Um. Right? I understand this. But, if I'm going, if I'm driving... Okay, when I was driving to Manchester, right? People asked me how... Far was it? <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. How far was it for you to drive to Manchester, right? Expecting like an answer in miles. And I'm like, oh, I was like four and a half hours. Or we got stuck in traffic for two hours around Birmingham, so it was six hours, which it was.